assigned there. 
Mary Ann spent the final 30 years of her life there. On arriving there, she announced that she and her sisters were hungry for the work and mission among the lepers. And she also assured them that they had no fear of the disease. It is interesting that during the years of Franciscan sisters served there, not one of the sisters ever contracted leprosy or Hansen's disease. Sister Mary Ann died in 1918 at the age of 80. This year, she will be canonized in Rome. Here we have two saints who imitated Jesus in caring for the lepers and attaining sanctity in the process. I have several times returned to Kaluapapa since my first visit, and it is always a moment of grace and a moment of challenge. It is a moment of grace because one senses the spirit of St. Damien and St. Marianne and their selfish sacrifice for others. It permeates the whole settlement. It is a moment of challenge because in the face of self, such selfish sacrifices, one must reflect on how one is giving oneself for others. In reflecting on the gospel today, we see the spontaneous kindness of Jesus. In response to the plea of the lover kneeling before him, Jesus reaches out and touches the man. This man had been living dead. Follow the instructions we heard in the first reading. The one who bears the sword of leprosy, we heard, shall keep his garments rent and his head bare, and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out. So also. 
Please stand now. 